Hi, this is Shana, the English teacher from EspressoEnglish.net, and today I'm going to teach you an exercise for practicing the pronunciation of long, difficult, multisyllable words. Our example words for this exercise will be particularly and individualistic, but there are more words under this video for you to practice and use this method. Step 1. Listen to the word. Go to thefreedictionary.com, type in the word, and click search. You can then click on the American flag to hear the American English pronunciation, or the British flag to hear the British English pronunciation. Step 2. Separate the word into parts. Now we separate each word into its syllables. It's helpful to capitalize and underline the strong syllable. Step 3. Say the word slowly, pronouncing each separate part of the word. For example, par, tick, you, lur, li. And, in, de, vi, ju, al, is, tick. Step 4. Say the word at medium speed, trying to connect all the parts of the word. For example, par, tick, Particularly, and individualistic. Step five: Say the word faster and faster, increasing the speed until you can say it normally. For example, particularly, 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 particularly. Remember to start slow, and increase the speed gradually. Individualistic, 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 individualistic. You can also practice difficult parts of the word in isolation. For example, the last two syllables of particularly, larly, larly, particularly. In individualistic, the most difficult part is in the middle, vidual. Visual, individualistic. You can also build the word syllable by syllable. For example, in, inde, individ, individu, individual, individualis, individualistic. Now try the difficult words under this video for more pronunciation practice. You can also visit www.espressoenglish.net and take our pronunciation course. Finally, if you like this video, please share.